this video is a continuation of the videos about the <coughs> properties of homomorphisms. We introduce now a new definition, a, defini a definition of kernel of phi. Let phi be a group homomorphism. So phi is taking the group G into the group G prime. So it's a group homomorphism. The subgroup inverse image of E prime, so the identity of G prime, is the set of X in G such that phi of X equals E prime, equals the identity of G prime. And this set is the kernel of phi, and we write it this way, giving a quick intuition for the concept. So we have G with an operation. Here we have G prime and an operation prime. Um, so X in G. So we have elements. We have some elements here. Let me close this. Okay. We have elements around here. But some x in G, let us say this one and this one, they, the image, this one, takes to E prime, E prime, the identity of G prime. And if this one, okay, so F of this phi of this x here is e prime let us call it this x x naught x naught and this one x1 and phi of x1 is e prime too so the images of these objects they are the identity okay so all these elements they form a set this set okay and this is the mapping is phi okay so this set here we are going to call it the kernel of phi okay i'm stating now a theorem that i'm going to leave without a proof or an example or what or what or anything um because i'll be back to this subject uh, in a later video okay but I need to state this theorem because I need an important corollary <coughs> let phi be a group of homomorphism between G and G prime and H be the kernel of phi so the kernel of phi will be the subset of G of all uh, elements of X uh, that the image is the identity of G prime okay all the X X not X1 from G right that will be taken to the identity prime of G prime okay let A in G then the set of the inverse image of phi of A equals x in G such that phi of x equals phi of A. Very important this. So this is the left coset A H of H and is also the right coset H A of H. Consequently the two partitions of G into left cosets and right cosets of H are the same. So we have a given uh, group and this is partitioned somehow in H and then we will have A H, A H, H, A, etc. But I don't want to get into this. I want to get directly into the corollary of this very important theorem. 
So I just want to get into this very important corollary of the previous theorem. A group homomorphism phi from G to G prime is a one to one map meaning injective um, if and only if the kernel of phi equals the identity the, the, the identity no the, the kernel of phi is a set only with one element the, the identity meaning if we have G here and G prime here so the kernel will be the subset here right it will be a subset of G and the elements of this set will be taken to the identity in G prime okay so phi is a homomorphism don't forget that the homomorphism is an operation like phi of a prime phi of b right for all a and b in g okay that's a this is a a homomorphism okay um so we know g is a group we know g prime is a group and then we know that phi is a homomorphism so if the kernel of phi meaning if this set here has only one element here and that element is e okay if the kernel of phi is only the element E, then we we know that phi is an injective map. Okay, and we know that the the, the homomorphism is one to one. Okay, um, we're going to. To, to prove quickly this uh, theorem um, proof okay so we have if and only if right okay so we prove it first this direction okay this direction first so the kernel let us assume that the kernel of phi equals the identity if the okay we have G here we have G prime here right and the only subset that takes to the identity prime is uh, the identity here so any element here any a here for all a in G G of A here will be precisely um, A operation the identity, right? Because A operation the identity will be the element A. Do not forget we are talking about homomorphisms. Okay? So the, the left coset. The, the, the elements that are going to be mapped into phi of a the elements this element that is going to be mapped into phi of a will be precisely the left cosets of the identity it's a times the left coset of the identity a times the identity will be a okay so this shows that phi is one to one okay so if the kernel of phi is the set of the only with the identity 
it implies that phi is 1 to 1. So this direction is proved. This direction here is proved. Now we prove the other way. So we suppose that phi is 1 to 1. Okay, if phi is 1 to 1, we know that homomorphisms preserve uh, identities, inverse subgroups, etc. So, uh, by that theorem that we proved, if phi is 1 to 1, phi of the identity will be the identity prime. The identity, the, the, the identity of G prime, of course. Okay. So since phi is one to one, we see that E, the identity here, this identity here, is the only element mapped into E prime. Right? Since phi is one to one, the identity will be the only element mapped into E prime. So that proves that the kernel of the homomorphism is the identity. And that proves the theorem. Because that, proved that proves that if E is 1 to 1, then, then the kernel of phi is the identity. And if and only if. So here we get into the very important chapter of isomorphisms that will continue in the next couple of videos. Now, if you want to show that if you have a certain phi from G to G prime and you, you want to prove that phi is an a isomorphism, 